So far, you've learned how the encoders worked, downloaded a sample program that uses them, and taken a look at how all of the pieces of the program fit together. Great! But why stop there? With Robot C, we can get an inside look at all of the values the robot sees in real time. Prop your robot up so that its wheels aren't touching a surface. Then make sure it's turned on and connected to the computer over VexNet or USB. Make sure the Labyrinth Using Encoders program is open in Robot C and go to Robot, Compile and Download Program. The Program Debug window opens every time you download a program to your robot and controls Robot C's connection with the robot. If a button on the Program Debug window says Continuous, press it to receive continuous updates from the robot. Now go to Robot, Debug Windows, Sensors, to open the Sensor Debug window. The Sensor Debug window is used to display the values for all of the sensors configured on the robot. In our program, two quadrature encoders, right encoder and left encoder, are configured on digital ports 1 and 3. Pay close attention to these two lines in the Sensor Debug window and press the Start button on the Program Debug window. As the robot's wheels spin forward, the values next to the encoders count up. Once the value of the left encoder reaches 1800, the robot stops. You may notice that when the robot's wheels stop, the value is well past 1800. This is caused by inertia, which currently has a greater than normal effect since the robot's wheels are raised up. After the robot stops, you can manually spin the wheels forward and backward and watch the values count up and down, respectively. If you press the start button on the program debug window again, the program will start from the beginning, set the values of the encoders to zero, thanks to the clear encoder commands, and rotate the wheels as the encoders count back up to 1800. As you can see, the sensor debug window provides useful information about your robot. This also makes a great troubleshooting tool. For example, if the encoder wire plugged into digital port 1 was switched with the wire plugged into digital port 2, the encoder would count in the opposite direction. Monitoring the encoder value in the sensor debug window enables you to quickly catch and correct this otherwise hard to identify problem. In this lesson, you learned that the sensor debug window displays the value of the sensors configured on your robot in real time, and saw that it can be used as a powerful troubleshooting tool. Your overall challenge is to complete the maze. Continue on to the next lesson to add some of your own code to the program and move closer to accomplishing your goal.